In this tutorial, we're going to practice a text inside text effect for InDesign. Let's go ahead and go to InDesign, go to File, and New, and let's create a new document. Let's go ahead and change to inches. 8.5 by 11 is fine, but I want to change it to landscape instead of portrait. And do Create. So this effect is going to take two fonts. One is going to be a font that holds a bunch of little tiny text. So with the Type tool, the first thing we're going to do is drag, and we're going to make a big letter D. We're going to type the word dog. So I'm going to highlight my letter D, and we have to create a text frame for every single letter. I'm going to go up to my window, grab my Type and Tables, grab Character, and I want to go ahead and use Impact because it's a nice big fat, and I need something that's really wide in order to put my letters into it. And let's go ahead and make it about 375 points which is pretty dang big. Alright, so next thing you can do is I can edit, I can copy, and I can paste. So control V, because I'm going to need another letter. I'll grab my letter, instead of D, I want O, but I want a capital O. I can hit my selection tool, hit Alt and drag, and I can make a copy that way as well. So there's quite a few different ways. I'm going to grab my text tool and make a giant G. Let's go ahead and go to the top ruler and drag down a guide. So I've got something to align my letters to. It makes it a little bit easier. Plus you can use the smart guides. You can see them start to pop into place as you're dragging your letters around, which is pretty nice. All right, I'm going to go ahead and right click on this one and do fitting and fit frame to content. And you notice my O and my G are a little bit different sizes. I can make them. If I try and make this bigger, it's not really fitting any differently. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. All right, so one of the next things I want to do is to make these into outlines. We did this in a previous lesson. So I'm going to drag select, hold my mouse down, and select all three of my boxes at once. I'm going to go to type and down to create outlines. So now instead of having to do each one individually, I did them all as a group. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is go to window. We want color and we want swatches. And we want to make sure that we have no color, so we're going to go ahead and change it to none, so we only see the outlines this time. Next thing we're going to do is go with our Type tool, and we're going to hover over our dog right here, the beginning of D, and it's going to go ahead and change this into a text frame. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Selection tool, You'll see a little white box here at the bottom. I'm going to click on that white box. I want to tell it to thread to this box. So I'm saying anything that overflows D needs to go into G. I'm going to do it right here as well. And I can see if what I did by doing View, Extras, and we want Show Text Threads. Check Threads. So now you can see it's automatically going to thread or pour from one box into another, which is pretty cool. All right, go back to my type tool, click back in my beginning of dog, and let's go ahead and set our parameters for our inside text. So I'm going to go to window, type in tables, grab character, or if you have it open on the side. Let's go ahead and choose a plain old Arial font, just Arial regular. And I'm going to make it pretty small. I'm going to go ahead and make it 8. And I'm going to make my space between the lines 8 as well because I want it to be pretty tight. I'm going to go up here and make sure it's justified so it'll actually fill to both those edges. Then I'm going to go ahead and right click in my dog and fill with placeholder text. And notice how it automatically puts all that text in. I want to go ahead and do View Hidden Characters, and you'll see that there's Returns in here. I want to make sure I get rid of all those, because I want it to flow from one line to another. I don't want it to break at all. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all those breaks. 
clean it up just a little tiny bit. Make it look a little bit nicer. So what you can do is do a copy and paste and put in other types of text. So you could put in song lyrics, you could put in poems, you can put in a lot of different things. I'm going to do and do control A and select all. I'm going to play with my setting just a little bit more. So I can go ahead and maybe I want to try and make the words a little bit wider. Maybe I want to bring them a little bit closer. Totally up to you as to how you're going to do it, especially if you're trying to make something fit. You can decide how you're going to have the spacing of the letters. We're going to bring them really tight. It's up to you as to how you're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and fill with a little more placeholder text so it fills up the rest of my thing. Now you'll notice because my dynamic spelling is on that I can see all these are misspelled, which is kind of a pain. I can go ahead and go to my paragraph decide whether or not I'm going to hyphenate or not. I would want to select all and hyphenate or not hyphenate. Clearly the hyphens clear uh, fill the space a little bit better. So it's up to you as to how you're going to make that fit. If I hit W I can see what I've got so far. It's not too bad. So there's a few more things I can do. I can decide I want to go ahead and add a stroke to those three letters. So I'm going to go ahead select drag and go up here to my panel and choose a stroke. I'm going to go ahead and choose pink and really big because we're going to make a really obnoxious dog. Or what you could do is decide I'm going to do control A. I'm going to grab my text tool. Control A, select all that text. I'm going to make the text white, but I'm going to make the background a color. So I'm going to make it blue. So actually I just made the text blue. I didn't want to do that. Undo. Text is white. Alright, grab my selection tool, select all three, and fill with blue. Hit W. And so that is how you create a text filled with other text. So it's a kind of a fun effect, um, kind of different something you could do. Make sure that you save it as a packaged file and upload Canvas.